Rome Chapter 9, Section 2 Constantine Constantine became emperor in A.D. 312. He aided or helped the economy by requiring sons to do the same jobs as their fathers. He also moved the capital from Rome to the Greek city of Byzantium, which he renamed after himself, calling it Constantinople. He built a forum, the Hippodrome, which was like a racetrack, and many palaces. He was also the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. Theodosius took over after Constantine died. The fighting began again, and the new emperor named Theodosius finally gained control and stopped the fighting. And Theodosius realized that the empire was way too big to handle single-handedly, so he decided to have it divided after his death into multiple parts. Alaric was a Visigoth leader who in AD 410 led his soldiers to capture Rome for the first time in 800 years. Alaric and his army burned records and looted the treasury of Rome. Odoacer In 476 AD, a German general named Odoacer took control, overpowering the 14-year-old emperor Romulus Augustulus. Odoacer controlled Rome for 15 years until a group of Visigoths seized the city and killed Odoacer. This event is often marked as the end of the Roman Empire. Plague. A plague is a disease that spreads rapidly and kills many people. Rome lost 10% of its population to plagues during this time period. Inflation is when prices go up because the value of money decreases. During this time period, fewer taxes were being paid, the government had less money, and so as a result, they started putting less gold in each coin to try to stretch their money out. Unfortunately, this just made the prices of items go way up, and un also the salaries of people did not change. Reform is simply a change for the better. Latin was the language of the Roman Empire. The basis of languages from Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, and Romania all come from Latin, and also many English words originate with the language of Latin. Latin words and phrases are still used today in the science, medical, and law fields. And also, works of Horace, Virgil, and Livy, and others are still enjoyed today in the original Latin.